it's March 12th, 2022. Um, let's see. I went back to sleep propped up again because I was afraid um, that the vertigo was going to come back. And it didn't. And um, I feel more like myself today. So I'm hoping that second epi maneuver thing worked. Um, and them still didn't call me back after I left another message. So I'm going to keep trying. But um, I didn't have a dream. I don't think. Uh, but. <laughs> so what happened was. Um, I mentioned that I. A couple of days ago I, I was walking home from the market. And just running errands and moving the car. Did I move that car? No, I went to, to run the car batter to you know give life to the battery and um when I was walking back from afar I saw someone and for a brief second it reminded me of someone um I saw him painting a mural on the wall and when I got closer I saw what you know he was painting and made a comment and walked on Well, that night, I don't know if I shared this, um, that night, well, before I tell that story, um, a couple things that stood out, have been standing out, and I want to make sure I say it before I forget, the vertigo, let's go back to the vertigo, <laughs> the vertigo, <laughs> the video that posted yesterday, <laughs> The video I posted yesterday was the poultice agent painting. And I'm talking about how that night, right, the night before that, I went to bed feeling ill and, and, and getting the, you know, vert it's vertigo. And and I, I listened to it. I was like, oh my gosh, like I wonder if that's when all my symptoms started, right? This, this you know, awareness of like, have I been struggling with it and not really realizing it? Because I didn't have any of the other symptoms until a couple days ago. So it's just funny that, again, synchronicity, right? Of, of me talking about it then, that I had that brief experience with it. <laughs> and then as it's posting, that's what's been happening right now for me. Just this vertigo sensation that I'm hoping went away. But I still want to go check that out. So there's that. The other thing is that the other few dreams that I've had, there was this, there were scenes in those dreams that I I didn't, I, I couldn't make sense of them, and they were very sexualized scenes, um, almost like porn scenes, and and I don't know if I mentioned it, but one of them it was the pictures of me, the pictures of me. They were pictures of me, and I'm like, I've never posed in that way before. But I have taken pictures of myself and, and sent them, you know? I would send them to my ex in the middle of the day just to, like, you know, get him going and surprise him, I guess. Not often. I did it more with um, the person I had an affair with. Because that's what, you know, we would do as, as a way to just trigger one another if you will right so in my class I'm learning um, the politics of, of sexual violence I'm learning about uh, the messages of rape culture that have been communicated over the years and we don't challenge them right and and um, the, uh, one of the big ones is, is the Paris Hilton one where you know she's with that big bur I remember that commercial, that big burger, right? At Carl's Jr. or anything, and she's in front of a truck, she's half naked and um, very sexualized, right? And and th I think the statement said something along the lines of like, she's lying if she doesn't want it big or something like that, to that effect. So we were supposed to look for a media piece and, and share it 
completely forgot about it. So I'm like scrolling through my phone to try to find something. And I Google search images of rape culture. Oh my gosh. Uh, there was an image of Cosmopolitan magazine. All these women in the front and it's like how to please him in bed, right? How to like, um, or like, it's just, it was all, a lot of it was sex and it triggered in me. I used to order Cosmopolitan, like I, that, I would subscribe to that. And I remember, I remember researching, I remember my research, right? I was looking through it because in my mind, that's what I thought that men wanted. That's what I was subconsciously, right? Being trained to believe that that's what they wanted. And then it just kind of click, 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 right? And this whole process of my self-worth and, and, and coincidentally, that was also another video that posted two days ago. It was the one about my self-worth, sitting with my self-worth, exploring my self-worth, I think it was called the pull to explore my self-worth, chapter 39, episode four. So, um, so again, it, and, and that was probably around the time that I was having those other, those snippets of this, the, the scenes and the dreams and not realizing like, what, what's the connection? What's the connection? And when I attended my class on Thursday, a few days ago, I was like, oh my gosh, just like shocked. Really, really. It was more like not realizing, right? And, um, making all the connections and, and just being wowed at, at how subtle these messages are being communicated and, and we just dismiss them, are quick to dismiss them and not realizing the impact over time, right? So there's that. Why do I was, oh, I just want to make, oh, the vertigo is the connection to the vertigo. Like it was just these two things that I haven't talked about that it's, have been on my mind. I'm like, I need to talk about it. I need to talk. So going, going back to the artist, <laughs> going, going back to the artist that I um, encountered. So that night from that first encounter, I um, went home and it, I reflected on the, what I saw cause he wasn't done. And, and it was the rays of the, the sunlight and the colors. And it actually helped me finish uh, one of my poems. And it prompted me to start another pro like it was just a ripple effect, like it prompted me to start another poem. So then yesterday morning, I woke up and I had the image of that painting in my mind. And I was curious to see how it was turning out and thinking, assuming it was done. And I got inspired. I actually woke up, I hadn't woken up that early and I've been waking up early since then, like around six, For which for me has been early in the sense of like waking up, wanting to get out of bed to do stuff, right? Cause usually I just lay in bed. <laughs> I lag it to get up and get ready. But yesterday when I woke up with that painting in my mind, wondering how it was work going along and thinking it just inspired me. It, 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 it evoked in me to write two more poems. <laughs> so, so there's this theme of like, I'm thinking about this painting and, and more stuff's coming out. So I'm just like, okay, okay. So then I thought during my break, I'll go, I'll go and um, take my notebook with me and just sit in, in front of it. And, and see what comes out, right? Because clearly all this stuff's coming out. So I'm like, oh, let me let me see what else comes out. So I, I left middle of the day with that intention to go and sit in front of this piece and see what came out. And I couldn't do it because when I, when I got there, he was still working on it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I, I can't really sit by myself. He's, he's still working on it. And he was being photographed by someone. I, I guess it was his friend. And um, so I approached him because I was curious to see how the rest of the painting was coming out or the mural. And um, we all started a conversation just 
talking and just looking at what he's painting while well, trying like I was trying to multitask. I'm not good at multitasking. And yeah, so so I, I wanted to come back to see what it was gonna look like. And I had to get back to work and I hadn't eaten and I needed to eat because it was a long day. Yesterday is Friday. So I, I thanked them for, you know, a conversation and and I said, well, maybe I'll swing by tomorrow to see what the finished product is. Thinking he was going to be done with it. <laughs> Thinking he would be done with it yesterday. Um, so I came home, ate, thinking about the painting, finished work. Before I go to bed, <laughs> before I go to bed, I have this imaginary conversation with him. where I am looking at his painting, remembering what I remember. And I, I turn to him and I say, I ask him, have you named it? What, what's, have you given it a title, a name? And he turns to me and he says, no. But then he says, why don't you name it? So I look back at the painting and I'm looking at the colors and from what I remember seeing um, I, I'm i taking it all in and I'm taking it all in and so then I, I, I turn to him and I say this, I say you have the sun expanding its rays on everything it touches. The movement, the colors, the lines. And there's this man and woman, right? And they're extending their hands out. And then I say, they're reaching out for the expansion, but at the same time, they're expanding themselves. And then there's this third figure, who I assume to be God, Source, gray hair, you know, typical. And his arms are spread out. And then I say to him, and I'm assuming that's God, Source, right? And he's expanding, right? And, and they are an expansion of him. So the sun is expanding, they're expanding, they're an, an expansion of him. He has a tree in the middle, and I said, a tree is life, and, and trees give fruit. And the fruit is an expansion of the tree. And then he has a heart in the middle of the tree. And so I say to him, the heart, love, is the greatest expansion of all. And so I'm saying this to him in this imaginary conversation that we're having last night in my bedroom. And then I say to him, this, this, and I'm pointing to what he's created. This is an expansion of you. I say to him, it's an expansion of you. You have given birth to an idea and made it real. And then I say to him, and it's funny, it's wonderful, that this expansion of you created an expansion within me and in that moment thinking about the poems that I had written but then it inspired <laughs> another another poem that I titled an expansion of you <laughs> and so it's an expansion of you March 11 born March 11 2022 dedicated to the artist on Shotwell Street and the imaginary conversation we had one night. And so it goes something like this. Can you see it? This incredible piece with rich colors, movement in the lines, vibrant interconnected shades that lighten my life. This is an expansion of you. Can you hear it? 
the crystalline sounds of instruments playing in unison, echoing across dimensions of space and time. This is an expansion of you. Can you smell it? This unforgettable scent that fades as you walk past me, only to smell it again, close my eyes, and see you in front of me once more. This is an expansion of you. Can you taste it? This delicious visual arrangement of flavors and textures, creating an explosion of variety in your mouth. This is an expansion of you. Can you feel it? The burning fire ignites passion that ceases the existence of time, birthing intangible concepts, ideas that come to life. This is an expansion of you. And then invoked another one, <laughs> which I won't read. But that's that's what, that's that's what happened. The imaginary conversation I had last night <laughs> with this unknown art. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. So, so that happened. So this morning, I was like, I'm I'm gonna go back <laughs> because because all this was coming out of this one <laughs> one painting. So then I wondered, I wondered, because I did ask him yesterday, I asked him if he had, um, um, if he had made other pieces, if, if he had other wall art, and he said, yeah, and I don't remember what he said after that, I think he's, he gave me a location, and I was like, I don't know where that's at, and that's when I told him, I was like, I, you know, I moved here last year, end of last year, so I, I'm still learning about the place. But if all of this is coming out of that one painting, I want to know where the other ones are. I'm curious. I'm curious to see what comes out once I see them. So I'm determined to go back. Oh, I, I mean, I told him I, was, I might swing by today. But I'm, I'm determined to go and ask him where his other, his other pieces are located and see what comes out. What comes out? Hmm. That's what happened last night <laughs> in the comfort of my bedroom. <laughs> That's all. So I have a couple clients this morning, and um, yeah. So I um. That's what I'm gonna go do. Hi, my name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey. Um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or 
find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and, you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.